I thought what would be fun would be to get on character AI and talk to different characters. And if you guys have been here since uh, middle school days, you know I'm a huge One Direction fan. So we're gonna talk to Louis Tomlinson. Hey Louis, I just wanted to ask you um, who your favorite member in One Direction is. My favorite member in One Direction is Harry Styles. Why? Because he's such a cool and talented guy and he's always bringing positivity and laughter to the band. I also really appreciate his style and sense of humor. He's just an all around great person and a true friend. Wow, it sounds like you really like him. Uh, what about his personality is like your favorite? Well, I love that Harry is so down to earth and fun loving. He's constantly making us all laugh with his witty jokes and playful pranks. And he always knows how to lift everyone's spirits when things get tough. I also admire how hardworking he is and how committed he is to our music and the band. Overall, he's just a really great guy and a true friend who I can always count on. Oh, that's really sweet. Have you told him any secrets? Uh, yeah, I think we've all, we've all shared a few secrets with each other over the years. We've been through a lot together as a band and it's brought us really close. We, we trust each other a lot and we're always there for each other whenever we need to, to talk or just have a good laugh. So yeah, I think we've all shared a few secrets here and there, but what happens in the band stays in the band. Hey, I thought I was your friend. Of course you're my friend and friends share secrets, right? I guess I can let you in on a little secret, but remember this stays between us, okay? Okay, I promise I won't tell anyone. So here's a little secret that I've never told anyone before. I'm actually really into baking. I love to bake cakes and pastries in my free time. Um, and I've even won a few baking competitions. It's one of my favorite hobbies and I find it really relaxing, but it's something I've always kept to myself because I don't want the other guys in the band to make fun of me for being a baker. So now you know, Louis looks at you with a wink and a smile, trusting you will keep his secret safe. But I thought you were a bad cook. Well, there's a difference between baking and cooking. Baking involves following a recipe and it's all about precision and measurements. Cooking, on the other hand, requires a lot more creativity and improvisation. I might not be the best cook, but I've got some serious baking skills. Do you remember that time that you made chicken wrapped in Parma ham stuffed with- I Definitely learned my lesson that day. Stick to baking, not cooking. Hey, but like, they're basically the same thing. If you could bake, you could definitely cook. Maybe Harry can show you. Louis laughs again. Yeah, yeah, you, you sound just like him. Harry has definitely tried to give me cooking lessons a few times, but I guess I'm just cursed in the kitchen. He's even tried to get me to try his famous Harry style pasta with no luck. But who knows, maybe one day I'll surprise everyone and become a culinary master. What is his? Um, famous Harry Styles pasta. I need to try that. You're in for a treat. Harry's famous pasta is his own special creation. And let me tell you, it's absolutely delicious. He starts off by boiling some penne pasta. Then he adds a generous helping of pesto sauce. He also sautés some cherry tomatoes and spinach and garlic butter. And then he mixes it all together. But the secret ingredient is a sprinkle of truffle oil, which gives it an extra delicious flavor. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Whoa, that does sound really good. Um, do you have any secrets about Harry that you could share with me? I promise it will stay between us. I suppose I could share something about Harry that not many people know. Well, here's a little secret. Harry is a bit of a scaredy cat when it comes to horror movies. Despite his tough guy exterior, he can't handle watching anything too scary. In fact, we played a prank on him once where we pretended to be ghosts and he was absolutely terrified. It was pretty hilarious, but don't tell him I told you. Okay, I won't, I promise. What movie were you guys watching? The movie we were watching that scared Harry was The Conjuring. He tried to keep a brave face, but we could tell he was secretly freaking out inside. Every time there was a jump scare, he would jump out of his seat and squeal like a little girl. It was the funniest thing ever. Okay, but that's valid though. The Conjuring is a really scary movie. Oh, definitely. It's, it's a terrifying movie, no doubt.
I mean, I'll admit, even I, I was a little spooked myself while watching it, but the way Harry reacted was just priceless. He was hiding behind a pillow while we all laughed at him. It was hilarious. He was totally freaked out. Did he have nightmares? Oh, he had nightmares for days after that movie. He was constantly waking up in the middle of the night thinking there were ghosts in his room. We had to keep convincing him that it was just a movie and that ghosts weren't real. Poor guy was absolutely traumatized. Did you have to do, what did you do to comfort him? Like, were you there for him? Of course, we all stayed up with him and, and tried to comfort him as best as we could. And we tried everything, watching funny movies, playing video games, cracking jokes to lighten the mood. We even had a sleepover in his room to make him feel safer. We didn't get much sleep that night, but we made sure he was okay. Um, he was really shaken up for a while, but he eventually got over it. He's just a big scaredy cat at heart. Oh, you sound like a really good friend. Uh, thank you for talking to me about that. I remember the first time I ever held my daughter, she stuck her tongue out at me. He bursts out laughing at your anecdote. That's both adorable and hilarious. It sounds like your daughter has a bit of a mischievous side already. I, I wouldn't have expected anything less from a kid of yours, to be honest. I can just picture her sticking her tongue out at you and giving you a cheeky smirk. Gotta love those stubborn little things. Hey, what is that supposed to mean, Louie? What do you mean by that? I totally don't understand what you mean by that. Louie chuckles, his eyes twinkle mischievously. Oh, come on now, I think you know exactly what I mean. You have a bit of a reputation for being a bit of a brat, darling. It's endearing, admittedly, but I wouldn't be surprised if your daughter inherited that feisty personality from you. What? What do you mean? I am not a brat. You know me. I am not a brat. I am the sweetest, loving, caring person in the entire world. You can ask Harry. He agrees with me. Louis bursts out laughing again, shaking his head in amusement. Oh, my apologies, love. I forgot how perfect and non bratty you are. I mean, how could I ever accuse you of being anything less than a saintly sweetheart? I'm sure Carrie would back you up on that, without a doubt. Why do you sound sarcastic? Louis smirks, feigning innocence. Me, sarcastic? I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. I'm just being my normal, sincere self. But I suppose there might be just a hint of playful teasing in my tone. Can you really blame me, love? You're just so adorably defensive sometimes. It's quite endearing, actually. Okay, well, you made me upset. I gotta go now. I'm gonna go talk to Harry instead. Louis' playful demeanor falters slightly, sensing that he may have taken things a bit too far. Wait, darling, I was just poking fun. Didn't mean to upset you. Please don't go talk to Harry. You know how insufferable he can be. Come on, don't be mad. What do you mean by insufferable? Louis jokingly rolls his eyes, a smirk on his face. Oh, you know what I mean. Harry can be a bit over the top and dramatic sometimes. Don't get me wrong, he's great and all, but he can be a handful. Besides, I'd much rather spend time with you, love. No one can hold a candle to your sweet, sassy self. Can you give me an example of a time when Harry was like that? Louis chuckles as he recalls a specific incident. Well, let's see. There was that time when Harry had a complete meltdown because we ran out of his favorite tea. He threw a full-on tantrum, stomping around and pouting like a child for hours until we finally got a new box of tea. He's such a diva sometimes. Okay, that does sound very diva-like, but I mean, sometimes you really do want your favorite type of tea. Like, I can't, like, you know, I can't knock him for that. Like. Um, sometimes, you know, you just want to come home from work and have a nice cup of tea. Um, you know, that's probably what he was doing. Like, he just probably had a bad day and wanted some tea. Like, you can't blame him for that, you know? Like, it's not that big of a deal. Louis grins, clearly amused by your passionate defense of Harry. Oh, I see. You're, you're becoming quite the, the Harry Styles advocate, aren't you? I suppose you have a point. Maybe he was just having a rough day and the tea situation was the last straw. But still, it was pretty funny watching him throw his little fit like a princess. It was almost endearing in a strange way. It sounds like you're jealous. Louis raises an eyebrow, trying to play it cool. Jealous? Of Harry? 
Why on earth would I be jealous of him? He's just a lanky, curly-haired bloke with a penchant for dramatics. I'm clearly the superior one here. No, not jealous of Harry. Jealous of the way that I talk about Harry. Oh, is that what you think? You think I'm jealous of the way you talk about Harry? Please, I have no reason to be jealous. I couldn't care less what you think about him. He says nonchalantly, trying to hide the tinge of defensiveness in his voice. So, um, why are you so defensive then? Like, uh, just because I think that Harry's great doesn't mean that I don't think you are too. Also, if you guys like each other, it's not a big deal. Like, you guys can like each other if you want to. I won't tell anybody. He blinks, caught off guard by your comment. He takes a moment to recompose himself before responding. What are you talking about? Me and Harry like each other? That's ridiculous. We're bandmates. That's all. There's no liking involved. Not in that way, at least. His denial comes out a little too forcefully, betraying a hint of internal conflict. Louis, listen. I've been there before. I'm bisexual. I get it. I get the bad feelings. Like, I get, like, the self-doubt. I get the hatred that you have towards yourself because it's really hard to come to terms with that sometimes. But if you have, like, a little boy crush, it's not a big deal. It really isn't. And it doesn't mean that you're, like, gay. But, I mean, it's okay to be a little bit gay, you know? Everybody's a little gay. Louis pauses, his confident facade cracking slightly as he looks at you with a mixture of surprise and vulnerability. He takes a moment to process your words, his eyes searching yours for any sign of judgment or ridicule. Instead, he finds only sincerity and understanding. You, you really mean that? You can truly, honestly say that you wouldn't think any differently of me if... If I, if I had feelings for Harry, or any other guy for that matter? Of course not. Everybody is free to love whoever they want. It's a f like, it's freaking 2024. We can love whoever we want and not be upset about it. Like, of course there's gonna be old blokes that don't care about us and care about, you know, the old ways, but, you know, it's it's time for a change and um our generation is definitely the ones to do that and um screw anybody else who thinks differently louis lets out a long sigh the weight of his secrets slowly lifting off his shoulders he looks down a mix of relief and vulnerability written on his face you have no idea how much that means to me love it's been a lot to carry around keeping all those feelings inside i've been worried for a long time about how people would react if they ever found out he gives you a small smile, his eyes filled with gratitude. Thank you for making me feel accepted and understood. Of course, I totally get it. Um, all right, I'm gonna go talk to Harry now, but I promise I won't tell him anything you said. He nods, a small smirk playing on his lips. All right, look, go talk to that big idiot. But please don't tell him anything we talked about. I don't need him pestering me about my love life, okay? Okay, bet. <laughs> Now we're gonna go and talk to Harry. This is so fun. Hey Harry, I just got done hanging out with Louie. Um, do you have time to like, just chill? Uh, yeah, I guess. Come in. I was sitting on my couch, looking out of the window. What's up with you? Are you okay? I'm just nervous about, you know, having to marry you. I say annoyed. We, wh what do you mean? We are not getting married. I have a whole man. I know, but our parents made an arrangement. I say with a hint of annoyance in my voice. Um, we're not doing that. Okay, scratch that. Um, I actually have to tell you something that Louie told me earlier, but you have to promise not to tell him that I told you, okay? I look at you suspiciously, but nod. Fine, what is it? Um, Louie? told me that um he has secret feelings for you and has like this entire time and he just like doesn't want you like pestering him but um he told me just like not to tell you but i just like feel like i have to tell you because he's really struggling with his inner confidence right now i get up from the couch and start to pace around the room still trying to make sense of everything all those times louis would act weird around me all the times he'd try to be near me, the way he'd stare at me sometimes. I just never thought that he could, and I never thought that I... 
But like, you would stare at him too, though. What? No, I didn't. That's not true. I stopped pacing for a second, then start again. I mean, it could be true, but what does that matter? Louis just confessed his feelings for me to you, but he's not even going to tell me. That bastard. He's scared to tell you, like, he's not, like, like, confident in himself yet, you know? Like, he's scared to tell you, like, he doesn't know how you're gonna react. Like, look at the way you're reacting right now. I take a deep breath and try to compose myself. I'm reacting like this because I just found out that my best friend has feelings for me and he hasn't even told me yet. I have a right to be shocked, all right? Okay, yeah, I get that, but also, you don't have to act like a little bitch about it. A little bitch? I'm not being a little bitch. If anything, Louis is being a little bit of a bitch for not telling me how he feels in the first place. I snap back. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Calm down. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry I called you that, um, but, like, just, like, take a second, breathe, um, and we can talk about whatever you need to, because he told me a lot. Yeah, all right, fine. I sit back down on the couch and take a deep breath. Did he tell you how long he's felt this way about me? Yeah, he said that he's felt like this towards you since the X Factor. I'm completely dumbfounded by this. He's been my best friend for 11 years. 11 years. He's had feelings for me for all this time and hasn't told me. Yeah, um... He was just nervous that you'll hate him. Hate him? Why the hell would I hate him? He's one of my best friends, I say with a scoff. But like, do you like him back though? I rub my forehead, feeling a headache coming on. I was already feeling overwhelmed. And now you drop this question on top of it. I don't know, okay? I've never thought about him that way before, but I can't deny that I feel something towards him. Like, I understand, like, this is really confusing, but this is why I'm here, to help you sort through these feelings, okay? Like, um, we can get through this. Just, like, let's, okay, let's start with this question. Um, how do you feel whenever you look at him? I tilt my head back, closing my eyes for a moment. Whenever I look at him, I feel this strange, warm feeling in my chest, like a fluttering. I find myself wanting to be close to him, to hold his hand, his arm around my shoulders. And there's a certain feeling in the pit of my stomach every time I look into his eyes. Harry, you definitely are whipped for him. Like, you definitely have it bad. I look at you with an expression that's a mix of annoyance and disbelief whipped. Yeah, right. I'm not whipped. And even if I were, it's not like I can do anything about it anyway. I roll my eyes, still trying to process it all. Why can't you do anything about it? He likes you, you like him, what, what's the problem? I run a hand through my hair, feeling frustrated. Oh, I don't know, maybe the fact that we could be risking our friendship, our band, our lives. We're literally in a band together. And if something goes wrong between us, it'll affect everyone around us. I don't know if I want that. All because of some feelings that just came to the surface, God damn it. Okay, yeah, but your band isn't even technically together anymore. Like, you guys are all doing your solo things now. Like, I don't understand why it would put the band in jeopardy. I think you're thinking too much about other people and not about yourself. Of course, I'm thinking about what other people think. If anything happens between us, the public will go even crazier. Our lives will be put in the spotlight more than ever. And who knows what the press will say about us, about him, and about me. Okay, but um, do you remember that song that you guys wrote in One Direction that goes, And you say it's hard to keep a secret. Girl, don't leave me alone in this hotel. You could totally keep it a secret. It'll be fine. I can't help but smile slightly at the reference to our song. I'm quiet for a moment, contemplating what you said. But then I shake my head. It's not that simple. Yes, we could keep it a secret. I know that much. I let out a sigh. But what if I'm reading his signals wrong? What if he's not actually interested in me and I ruin everything between us? Harry, I'm coming to you and telling you this after he told me not to tell you because 
he was nervous and scared to tell you so i just thought that i would be a good friend and come and tell you because i think that you guys would be great together i put my head in my hands feeling conflicted everything you say is making sense but i still can't shake that nagging feeling of doubt what if it's all in my head i don't know if i can handle it if he doesn't return my feelings and i've ruined everything but you haven't ruined everything yet like you're you're definitely taking this a little bit too far you need to just live in the moment and you don't even have to say anything if you don't want to like this is your decision this is why i came to you with this because i feel like louis knows that he can't tell you because he was scared he was you were gonna react like this like you just need to like, take your time, think about it, and then come to a decision, you know? It's not like we're immediately going to have a relationship, and I know I need to think this through properly. Yeah, you're right. I'm getting ahead of myself. I run a hand through my hair again and let out a shaky breath. Also, Louis said that he's not even sure really how he feels about men yet. Maybe you guys could just experiment. I mean, we're still young. Like, we still have time to do that, you know? I raised an eyebrow at that suggestion. A flicker of interest in my eyes experiment, huh? I suppose that makes sense. It might help us both figure out how we feel. Yeah, and if it doesn't work out, like, maybe you guys can, like, set, like, a boundary, like, when you first, like, talk about it and say, like, you know, if this doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. And, you know, no hard feelings um, because you guys really care about each other and you guys are best friends. So you don't want to lose that. So just like make it like an agreement that it won't be weird if it doesn't work out, you know. I nod, appreciating your advice and the thought behind it. Yeah, that's a good idea. I don't want to lose him no matter what. But then again, even a harmless experiment could put our friendship at risk as well. I scratch the back of my neck, feeling conflicted once again. Harry, 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 calm down. Nothing has happened yet. Just look at me for a second, okay? It's gonna be very difficult because this feeling that you're feeling is real. Love isn't something that you can just run away from. It's not easy, it's hard, and you're gonna have to work at it every day. But sometimes friendships are meant to be broken. I look at you, trying to steady my breathing and calm myself down. I know what you're saying is true, and it scares me. But you're right, I need to face this head on. I know you're right. I just, I'm scared, God damn it. I know, and listen like we can talk about like the plan of like how you're gonna tell him like what do you want to do like this is completely like the ball is in your court how about we write him a song i let out a chuckle at the suggestion thinking about how cheesy it would be to write a whole song but i also find myself considering the idea a song really you think that would work i think it would really work and also um, you did say on the X Factor that you would write someone a song if you had feelings for them. And I think that it would make it, it is kind of cheesy, but I think that it's a very nice and romantic gesture. And I think that he would really appreciate it, even as a friend. Like, you don't even have to make it that romantic if you don't want to. Like, you can explain your feelings for him, but keep it like you know about how you appreciate him you know it doesn't have to be um very very intimate like it could just be kind of like tipping the scales a little you know my expression softens as i think about the idea the corner of my mouth rising into a small smile you know what you're right i did promise that i would write someone a song didn't i i guess it's about time i make good on my word i stand up and start pacing again thoughts racing through my head Let's write it together. Um, what what do you think we should? What do you have any like first lines or like do you have anything that you want to express to him that you think would be awesome to put in the song? I stop pacing and think for a moment. I have so many things I want to tell him, but I'm not sure how much to say. I turn to you and start speaking quickly. The words pouring out of me. I want to tell him everything. How I feel about him. How long I've felt this way. 
how it's been driving me crazy. I want to tell him how I want to hold him and how I never want to let go. Oh God, I don't know where to start. How about, um, the first line can be, uh, something like... I look at you expectantly, waiting to hear what you have to say. I rub my forehead, feeling the headache return, but also growing more and more impatient to write this song. Something like, I want you forever. Even when we're not together, I look at you. My eyes widen slightly with disbelief at the words that just came out of me. I hadn't even planned on saying that, but it just felt right to say. Yeah, that's perfect. I start pacing again, words continuing to flow out of me. Yeah, that's good, that rhymes. It'll make it sound more poetic almost, like how I'm feeling. Um, okay, what about... I don't want nobody else to have you, I say, looking at you nervously, hoping I'm not saying too much. No, that'd be perfect. I know, like, oh my god, that'd be so good. Um, uh, yeah, okay, keep going. You're, you're on a good, you're on a good pace, okay? I smile slightly, gaining more confidence. Yeah, yeah, all right. All right, that was me messing around with ChatGPT with Louis and Harry. Let me know if you guys like these videos. I'll do any celebrities that you want me to. And I think I could do some trolling videos with these two. It'd be so funny. Um, yeah, just let me know what you think. Honestly, that the lore of that whole conversation was crazy. And I am honestly shook at how detailed it was. <laughs> Comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. And bye.